I'm Alex Hadassi, I'm a history teacher, and I've been teaching at Indian Mountain School for three years. In my classroom, there's a Harkness table, there's the round table, and we, um, we all get to sit around it. There's no me standing in front of a row of desks. And that, that style of teaching really allows for some really good class discussions, and it doesn't happen every day. It happens most days, though, and when it does happen, I feel like I'm more of a conductor than anything else. I can kind of sit back and let the discussion run where the discussion wants to run, and being able to do that at the ninth grade or in the eighth grade or the seventh grade is something that I didn't get to do until I was in college and um, it's really a lot of fun to be on the teaching side of the classroom. Teaching here at Indian Mountain means a lot of different things. Um, besides being in the classroom itself, I'm, I'm in the dorm with some of the boys that I teach later in the day in American history class and then I'll see them again later that day on the tennis court or on the soccer field. So teaching is a very um, a broad term I think the way we use it here. So I can, I can be with a certain student in two, three, four different scenarios and be able to help him um, in one way or another uh, multiple times per day. I love working with kids. My biggest class is only 11 kids, so that gives me a lot of time to work on a one-on-one, one-on-two, individualized basis where I can really help a kid with his paper, for example, or his speech, or an upcoming project in a way that if I had a classroom of 20 or 30, I would definitely not be able to spend that kind of time. On Indian Mountains campus, there's a ropes course, a really challenging ropes course with low and high elements. There are cables running about 40 feet above, um, above the ground, and every year in the spring, seventh graders will go out on the ropes course and use it to kind of work in small teams and figure out challenges that they definitely wouldn't face in a history classroom or a math classroom. Because it's demanding, I think it really asks students to work together in a way that they wouldn't have to within the walls of a classroom. The classroom is a very safe environment in which to learn, and the ropes course is another safe environment in which to learn, but a whole new set of challenges are presented. And even though the day of the actual event, the day that they are out there may be cold, it may be rainy, it might be windy, they always come away with a smile on their face because they've accomplished something that they don't always get to. They've accomplished something that doesn't get to become accomplished in a classroom. The Adventure Ed program is a big part of the curriculum here and it's, um, throughout all the grades, five through nine, each grade has a different uh, trip or event or activity plan that's within the Adventure Ed curriculum. Uh, the fifth grade goes on a camping trip. A lot of them, it's their first time out in the woods and um, to be in a tent, to be cooking their own meals, to be working together to set up their shelter for the night provides them a really um, tangible work product that they, if they don't set up their tent, they don't have a tent. So um, working toward that is uh, a great way to build a sense of community within the fifth grade class. And that's kind of the goal, I think, of the program throughout all the years, five through nine, is that each grade gets a chance to learn about itself. And the sixth grade will go on a trip, and the seventh grade will go on its trip. And each time these trips go, they come back with a sense of, of class that they didn't leave with. Well, I think that being a young teacher who is closer in age to the students themselves than to their parents puts me in a unique position with them and that they see me as someone who's not that far out of the world of education himself as a student and makes me more sensitive to their needs and wants and maybe sometimes their complaints. Um, I really do get it. I think living with the students, my apartment's attached to the dorm, working with the students in the classroom, working with the students on the athletic field is made for a really great three years and I really look forward to uh, many more.